Okay, now this. Okay, after a year of riots, up to $2 billion in destruction of minority-owned businesses, small businesses, folks, businesses destroyed, 30 people killed, estimated in riots, Amazon, Fox Business breaking this news, selling controversial items, including pro-Antifa, anti-police, even anti-Israel merchandise on its website, even though it violates Amazon's own policies that ban the sale of, quote, offensive and controversial materials. Let's welcome back to the show one of our favorites, Fox News contributor, Deneen Borelli. Are we normalizing violence and riots? What's going on here? Hey, Liz. Well, look, what Amazon is doing is just wildly, wildly inconsistent political bias. They are clearly breaking their own policy. They claim they don't promote uh, violence. They don't uh, pr incite or in incite violence as well. Meanwhile, uh, look at the merchandise that they are selling on their website, pro Antifa merchandise, pro Black Lives Matter merchandise. And look, uh, they can sell whatever they want, Liz, but they need to recognize that they stand the risk of alienating consumers. And thank you for breaking the story, because I did not see this anywhere else, so I do appreciate you reporting on this. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, Fox Business, our website, got it. And, you know, Deneen, you make an important point, because customers can buy the Antifa handbook, they can buy merchandise that says Antifa is heroes. Uh, Antifa are, are, are real American heroes. Um, and the one that people are finding really troubling is uh, T-shirts, clothing, masks, emblazoned with the slogan, Blue Lives Murder, meaning cops murder. That's what is found on the Amazon's website. So they have a policy you can't promote, incite, or glorify violence, but people making money off of promoting, inciting, and glorifying violence on Amazon's site. So again, we ask the question, are we really at the at the point where we're normalizing this stuff? Well, that's what it looks like, Liz. Absolutely. I mean, look, you talked about all of the violence and, and uh, crime that took place uh, for over a year, the past year, and 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 not only the censorship and and. Uh, there's also the censorship that Amazon is doing as well, which is unbelievable, uh, because they're selling Mein Kampf. They sell the quotes of Chairman Mao. Meanwhile, they are censoring a documentary that is featuring Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, a man who was born in poverty and is now on the Supreme Court. Uh, he is a story of our country's America exceptionalism, but the suits at Amazon don't see it that way. That's really interesting stuff, the censorship going on there. We didn't hear about that news. Thank you for that. So, you know, they also have items accusing Israel of being occupiers. You know, Amazon pulled the Confederate flag in 2015. The company also even removed the Dukes of Hazard from its streaming service due to Confederate, Confederate flag imagery um, and stopped the yeah. sale of even leggings, uh, you know, with Hindu gods after complaints. So they, they do that. But then this is allowed. You know, the thing is, let's talk about this, because Dan Abrams has been saying that the media is reluctant to cover stories like this, and that he's saying the media is also reluctant to cover the crime wave in America. Watch this. I don't know if the media is culpable, but I agree with you that it's underreported. Um, it, I, I agree that the media ought to be covering more um, crime waves in certain cities. Now, some people tell you, oh, there's no crime wave. It's actually, you know, you have to look at the numbers this way or that way. Um, you know, the bottom line is that there is a, a serious crime problem um, in big cities around America. And I do think that the media is reluctant uh, to cover that kind of story. Now, why so you're not getting this on CNN, MSNBC, other networks? What do you say? Final word, Deneen. That's all you need to know, Liz. Uh, really, the media, the mainstream media, is part of the problem. All right, Denise Borelli, great to see you. Come back soon.